What's up everybody and in today's video we're gonna go over G2 box supports. Uh, this is mainly for like beginners like myself. Uh, I'm not as pro at G2 box yet but I have been doing it for about like a month now and I've had almost a hundred successful prints. I only had one failure. Um, that's because I didn't clean the plate properly. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go over supports and auto supports and where to put what to look for in your prints to see if they're gonna fail or not. So we're gonna get into that right now. Once you're in Cheat 2 box, you're going to want to go and import your file. So, oh, where are my files at? Let's see. We'll do this little ornament. Of course, it's not going to be little, it's going to be giant sized. And it'll load into your workspace. Boom. So, this right here is a Christmas ornament. So, we're going to move this around. We are going to scale it down. Nope, that's up. And I'm going to rotate it just so it's in line with the build. So now, what you want to do is you'll click right up here in this right corner and your supports. Now, depending on how big the model is or how heavy it is, you choose your supports. So when it's something small like this, I usually go light because they're a lot easier to rip off. It just basically slide off like butter so you want to go down to this button where it says all and then it'll auto generate the supports now some people hate using this they say it's not reliable I've done a whole, about 110 prints since I got my printer and one has failed and I've only used auto supports but I also use you know I add them as I go so what you want to look for is any red spots so you see right here underneath the ears red you would just left click add a support left click add a support <laughs> see the ears here add a support just like that you want to look for all the red spots so the mouth already has supports on it it's mainly just under the ears because they're so, they're so long and that's like the first step of doing it next step would be to go here to the blue bar and roll it all the way down to zero from here you'll be able to see how your print is going to play out so if you see anything that's printing in the areas and it's floating in midair that's going to fail so if you see something that's floating in midair that's where you're going to want to put a support for this model though there's not really anything see like right here that's not touching a support so I'm gonna put a support there same thing for the other side the back side of it oh put a support right there because it's starting to build and as you can see right there there's nothing holding that little piece up it's just floating in midair so that's what you're going to want to look for so this is not like a pro tutorial this is like the simplified version for beginners like myself um, this is what I've used and had success with so far and you just want to keep running up your build to see where is it building out right here on the chin it's floating here with no support there's nothing holding it so I would just support it just to be safe and depending on your file if it's something that's like really detailed and you gotta like you're not gonna be able to sand it then I would try like uh, adjusting it the way it's uh, laid on the plate so that it has supports like on the back side or the underside or somewhere you're not gonna see but if it's something you gotta prep and paint then you can kinda go crazy with the supports to hold it to make sure that you have a successful print but that's about it it's pretty simple um, it's not over complicated. Like I said, I'm not a pro, so nobody chew me up with their pro comments because I really won't care. But it's just like some people I've seen that they're intimidated to do, you know, T2 box supports and they're afraid. But this is like a super simplified way just to do it quick. And you know, I didn't want to make the video too long. I just wanted to make a quick video. Yeah, it just shows you all the red spots. See, right there is red. I'm going to add a support there just to be sure. Now this file I printed it like 15 times already so I know it's going to work. <laughs> but 
But what you gotta do is trial and error. Um, just keep practicing, keep doing it, uh, and eventually you'll get the hang of it. Don't be intimidated by it. It's an easy program. It's pretty user friendly. I'm a moron and I was able to use it, <laughs> so you should be good with it. But anyway, if this video helped you, please drop a like, uh, comment if you have any questions, and also subscribe. Help the channel out. Uh, thanks for being here. Peace out.